let's play a little game called Drone or Photo. It's really simple. I'm gonna play two video clips for you, one after another. One of the video clips is gonna be actual drone footage, and the other clip is gonna be a photo that I edited to look like drone footage. So let's see if you can guess, drone or photo. Let's take a look. Okay, so I know that we just met and please don't be upset with me, but I lied. I lied, okay, I lied. Both of those video clips that you just watched, they're not real. There's no drone shot there. They're both fake drone shots. They're both photographs that I edited to look like drone. What I'm trying to say is the videos that you just watched, they're not real. That back there is not real. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I achieved this effect in Final Cut Pro, but it doesn't matter what video editing software you use because we are using no plugins. This is all stuff you can do in pretty much any video editing software. So with that said, let's jump into the tutorial. So here we are in Final Cut Pro and I have this image of Machu Picchu that you saw at the beginning of this video. This is the image that we're gonna use for this tutorial. The first and one of the most important steps in pulling off this effect is that you use an image that's high definition or high quality because we're gonna be cropping in a lot, like a lot, a lot. So this image here I found on pexels.com. I'll leave a link in the description below. So once you drop your image onto your timeline, we're gonna stretch this out so it's about 10 seconds. That seems to be the sweet spot. And then we wanna set our playhead at the beginning of this clip. So to make this effect work, we're gonna use the distort tool. And that can be found under this transform drop-down menu here. On the bottom, you're gonna see distort. And now if you look at the edges of our picture, it, it's added these purple boxes all the way around. And if we grab those, you can see that it distorts and skews the perspective of this image. That's what we're looking for. So I'm just gonna reset all of those. Now you could do this by eye or by hand, but we're actually gonna type in our coordinates so it's as smooth and seamless as possible. And we can do that by coming over here to the right hand side. You're gonna see the distort the tab. And what we're gonna do is change the perspective of the top right and left hand corners. So as you can see here, it says top right, top left. What we're gonna do is type in minus 500 for both of these. Click enter, minus 500 and enter. And then we're gonna set our keyframes, okay? So the next step is we wanna bring our playhead to the end of this clip. And what we wanna do is add a thousand back onto this. We're gonna type in plus 500, click enter and 500 again. Click enter. Now, if we scrub through this clip, you're gonna see that the top right and left hand corners are moving or shifting perspective. That's perfect. Next, we wanna crop in on this image so it fills our canvas completely. So we can do that by heading up here to the scale all. Make sure our playhead is at the beginning of this clip and then just drag the scale all all the way in. Now, I don't like the framing of this shot as it is right now. So we're gonna change that by coming down here again to our transform tool. And now we can move this around our screen and get a framing that we like. So something like that looks good to my eye. And now if we play this from the beginning, we can see our effect start to take shape. Now that looks good to me, but there are a couple of things that we can add to this to really take it to the next level. So bring our playhead to the beginning of this clip again. We're gonna come up here to our position and I'm gonna set a keyframe at the very beginning of this clip right here. Then I'm gonna to scroll to the end of this clip and under the X position, I'm gonna drag that down to about minus, I don't know, 50. Something like that looks good. And then I'm gonna drag our playhead to the beginning of this clip and take a look. So now it really looks like there's a drone in the sky and it's slowly moving across this scene. Now for the final step of really selling this clip, we're gonna add some fog or some mist to this scene. So I have this mist green screen here. I'm gonna drop that in on top of our footage and I'm just gonna chop it off right here. Now to get rid of the green in this green screen, we're gonna come over here to our effects tab and look for the keyer tool. I'm gonna drag and drop that in on top of our footage. And what we wanna do is turn down the opacity because that is way too much. And I kinda just want the mist in the foreground of this image. I don't wanna covering the whole image. So again, I'm gonna come over here to the transform tool on the green screen and I'm gonna drag that down until it 
is just affecting the foreground of this image. And I can turn up the opacity just a touch. So now let's have a look at our effect from the very beginning. And it's that simple to turn a still image into a shot that looks like it's filmed with a drone. Let's move on to our second example. So again, we're gonna apply the same steps here. I'm gonna make sure that this clip is about 10 seconds long. Set my playhead at the beginning of this clip. Head over here to our distort tool. I'm gonna type in minus 500 for both the top right and top left. And then set our keyframes, that's very important. Then I'm gonna to scroll to the end of our clip and type in plus 500 for both of these. And if we scrub through our timeline here, you can see the effect taking place. Next, I wanna crop in on this image. So scale all, crop in. Then I can use this handle here to affect the composition of this image. So something like that looks good. For this image, I wanna add an extra step. I wanna add more movement to the camera movement. I'm gonna make sure that our playhead is at the beginning of this clip. Then I'm gonna come up here to our position set a keyframe and then scroll to the end of our clip and i'm going to make sure that the y position is about minus 60. and for our y axis i wanted to reveal more of the foreground so it looks like a drone that's slowly panning down revealing this foreground so i'm going to drag this up to about plus 80. you can experiment with these numbers too you don't have to type exactly what i'm showing you here these are just suggestions so plus 80 might work for this and finally, I'm going to add our mist overlay to this clip also. So I'm going to drag and drop that in on top of our clip and just trim it here at the end and I can delete these. Then I want to grab our keyer, drop that in on top of our clip and turn down our opacity again to about 20%. And again, I just want this mist in the foreground. So I'm going to drag the position down. Something like that looks good. Now let's have a look at our clip from the beginning. Now, if I didn't know any better, if I didn't know any of this context, I would for sure think that this is drone footage. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So there you go. That's how I turn a still image into a drone shot. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this in the future, I will be posting more. So make sure you're following along and I'll see you then. Peace.